It is time for the latest Super 16 presented by New Amsterdam Vodka. We welcome in New York Mets closer Dan Rosen to uh, join oh, the program opening day in Major me. League Baseball. <laughs> so Dan is a big Absolutely. Mets fan. Absolutely. Congratulations. You're scoreless through three innings. Yeah, I have to go to the closer, man. It's, it's like, it's like, it's, it's, it hurts. It hurts. There, there, is, a, there is an there is an opening apparently now. There yeah, is an there's opening in the trouble. bullpen. So uh, good there luck. Is. Work there on is. your curve. All right. Ball. All right. <laughs> Let's go. Let's get to right to the start. All Who right. do you got on top? Who's your one through four? Well, Boston's my one. They can clinch the President's All Trophy right. and set a team record for fit with fifty-eight wins. They're still in line for the NHL record if they win six of the last eight. I think Minnesota Wild at two. And really, it was a it was a two three. Who was going to win last night was going to be two, and the other one was three. I like it. Uh, not usually like that for one game, but when they're two three, you got to go with it. I like and it. And the Wild get it. Uh, look, I mean, you go back to when they really started seventeen one and four. You know, as a six sorry sixteen one and four in their last twenty one games, they've just been really good. Three game winning streak. The Avalanche that loss ended a three game winning streak, and you go back to when they really started to pick it up. It, you know, that's it. February eleventh, seventeen five and two since then. And then the New York Rangers, and the key thing for the New York Rangers, three wins in a row, 9-1-1 one, and one in their last uh, 11 games. And the key thing for them, Igor Shesterkin. He's come around. He's playing like the Igor Shesterkin of last year and his last several starts. And that might the Rangers are winning and they're getting chemistry, EJ, but that might be the biggest thing going for them right now. Yeah, I agree. I noticed the numbers on Shesterkin of late. He's been playing much better, and they've had some time to kind of have those new guys assimilate into their group, the Canes and the Tarasenkos. So uh, Rangers yeah. looking very good right now. I'm glad to see you're catching up on the Minnesota Wild. You've got them right where they belong. <laughs> they've been playing really well. So yeah. let's see how you do 5-3. This is the way I'm going to see. We're going to see if you've really done your work this week or you failed me again. What do you got? All right. Well, the Los Angeles Kings are my number five. I know they lose to Calgary, but that ended a 12-game point yeah, streak, 10-0-2. Okay. So the Kings are in at five. Uh, the Golden Knights, they're one notch ahead of the Oilers who just beat them, but they also beat the Oilers. So yeah, let's not forget true. that. That's so they true. split, right? Yeah. So they're first in the Pacific. They can clinch tonight. And the Golden Knights, that you know, I mean, that loss ended a winning streak. They're 8-2 in their last 10 games. The Edmonton Oilers playing really well. That Pacific division. I mean, we wondered about that, right? But you look at that Pacific Division now, who wants to play any of these three teams in the playoffs? That first place, and it's really the case for the three divisions other than Boston's, first place is so important. And the Oilers, 7-0-1 in their last eight, they're playing really well. And the Carolina Hurricanes, who you know I've had them in my top four a lot of the year, but I had to drop them here. Uh, I can't drop them out of the top eight because I like them too much as a team. But right now, they seem to be kind of middling a little bit, trying to figure it out especially without Svechnikov, they got one win in their past four games. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's funny, Dan, right? Because the uh, early in the year, you know, like if we looked at your top eight or most people's top eight, maybe seven of the eight were from the east. Now, yeah. five of the eight are from the west. And I, I tend to agree with there. I don't – I might have – even with with that win, I might have given Edmonton the jump on Vegas. I know they they split their games this week, but Edmonton's win on the road, second of a back to back, really really impressive against the Vegas Golden Knights. And Vegas did lose did lose Shea Theodore now, and we're hoping it's not a long term injury. Certainly yeah. they're hoping that. So I might have given the Oilers a little bit of an edge yeah. there, but but it but those three teams are tight, and I'm glad to see that yeah. you got the LA Kings. You're slowly getting on board there. <laughs> Slowly. The only thing, the only thing with the Oilers is, I mean, you gotta love it. The offense is amazing. They'll have yeah. 300 point scores. Brian Nugent Hopkins might be having the quietest 100 point season yeah. that anybody's had in a very long time. But it was still four goals against, and that's the that's the thing. You know, they're still giving up goals. They need to be better in that department. You're not scoring seven. Yeah. You're not scoring seven. You're not scoring six in the playoffs. Maybe you do it once, but you got to be better. Tighten up, and I think Vegas can play a little tighter. They gave up seven. I'll give them that, yeah. right? But Dan, but they, but I Dan, think they can be tighter. They gave up four, but the game was a blowout. Like you know, they they controlled that game. They gave up another goal late in the game, so you got to give them. You know, they they were in control of that game throughout, and it's you know it was a good, it was they a were. really good performance. The Oilers are playing well, and they got another challenge tonight against the LA Kings. These things are always. Yeah. They're always changing, so we'll see how it plays out tonight. All right, let's get to let's get to the next group here, nine through twelve. 
Yeah, that's how we go. Okay. All right, Dallas is number nine. A uh, bit of a win one, lose one for mm-hmm. them. But, you know, when they win, they get it in overtime two or a shootout. So they're three, one, and one in their last five. You look at their month of March, nine, four, and one in March. Solid. I still mm-hmm. think they're the third best team in that division, which is why I have them at nine. But can't argue with the Dallas Stars. A nine, four, and one March so far is pretty good. The New Jersey Devils. Now, I was almost thinking about dropping them further, but it's not as if Toronto's been lighting it up or Tampa. So I kept the Devils where they are, or the team that's 13. Uh, I'll talk about them in a second. But the Devils 2-4-2 two, and two in their last date, and I do wonder if Vitek Vanacek is getting a little tired, and yeah. that's not good yeah. for the New Jersey Devils. He's played the most he's ever played this season. I think it's 47 games. He's pushing for that 30th win. Could get it tonight against the Rangers. Uh, the Toronto Maple Leafs are 11, and again, you know, 7-5-2 and two in March, 2-2-1 two, two and one in their past five. They need to. They need to get better. They need to figure this thing out. Uh, and the same, but but then again, look at the team that they're going to play in the playoffs: the Tampa Bay Lightning. They do beat Carolina, but that ended a four uh, a losing streak. Yeah. It was a four game losing streak, and they're four and four in their last eight. Both of those teams are kind of. Yeah, I wonder if they're just treading water until they get to the playoffs yeah. because they know what's going to be. You know, I think those three teams that you're talking about there, and the Devils are a little bit of a different story because it's their first year, kind of back in the mix. I yeah. think they are. You know, they're, they're kind of in a little bit of a slide right now, but I think Toronto and, and really Tampa. I mean, I got to see Tampa against Boston on Saturday. Dave Reed and I did the game. I mean, they were really good in that game. They lost to the Bruins by one goal in a game that could have went either way, and then they built on that with a win against Carolina where they went in yeah. and really did a nice job in that game. So I, I would probably have both Toronto and Tampa maybe ahead of the Devils right now. It's just the Devils right now. They Tonight will be interesting to see where the Devils are at tonight at home against the Rangers. Let's get to the last uh, couple you got on your All list. Right. 13, the New York Islanders. and why, I know they got a couple wins in a row here, but I didn't push them above because they also lost the weekend to Buffalo and Columbus. Yeah. So you can't lose those games. you got to find a way to, get, to win those games. Seattle, uh, not very good. Three wins since a five-game winning streak. Three wins in nine games since their five-game winning streak earlier this month. They're 14. The Calgary Flames had to get them in. Nice win against L.A. They've won two in a row, three of four. Can they do it? The Winnipeg Jets are certainly letting them try. And same with the Nashville Predators. Big win in Boston. Had to get them in, too, because, I mean, what they did at the end of that game with Roman Yossi and putting the helmet on the table, whatever kind of helmet that is, putting it on the table to remember the victims and everything that went on with the Nashville school shooting. Uh, touching moment there, but a huge win in Boston. So the Nashville Predators get in, too. Yeah, and the Predators take on the Pittsburgh Penguins, who are not yeah. on your list uh, no. tonight. And I could understand why. I mean, you get to those last couple of teams, it's it changes all the time. I mean, I give the Predators a world of credit because we talked about it earlier in the show, Dan. They, I mean, they had it's a completely different team than started the season between trades and injuries. I guess the one constant has been UC Soros, and that's a big constant to have in goal. So yeah. uh, I'm with you on the Preds being in there. Uh, of the teams that bubbled under, who were you really the most worried about not putting in? None of them. Yeah. <laughs> Vancouver? <laughs> How about Vancouver? St. Louis? You know? They're hot? St. Louis? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I almost put Vancouver in it there, but I had to give national credit for what they did. You know, going into Boston and winning with all the injuries that they have, Roman Yossi out, and their other best defenseman's playing for Edmonton right now. And Matias yeah. Ekblom was not there, you know? So yeah. I had to give him credit. But Pittsburgh, real, I mean, can't do it. Winnipeg certainly can't do it. Yeah. Uh, you know, well, and both of those teams are in a playoff position right now. Florida... You know, you you want to do it. They got a nice win, but at a four game losing streak when they really have to win games. So yeah. it, it it's tough. It's tough after really fourteen. Yeah. Well, let me tell you, Dan, your list pretty good this week. Solid. I got to say, one of your better lists. You were thought out. Right. You didn't. Uh, you know, under under cross examination, you didn't falter. So <laughs> nice job by you. Very good list. Choice of clothing, very oh, suspect. Come on. Very come very on. suspect. But good I've luck, to, this you. For over good 20 luck years. to your Mets <laughs> this season as, uh, you know, they battle on with that very uh, underpaid roster they have there. <laughs> they come, coming from a Yankee fan. Of course. Coming from a Yankee of course. Fan. Yeah. We've had to hear it for right. 40 years. All right. Cut his mic. Get back to the ball game. <laughs> Maybe you're going to the Devils Rangers tonight. Dan Rosen with a better list this time. Not bad. So we'll see how he goes next week. All right. Coming up next possible playoff matchups in both the Metro and the Pacific tonight. Rangers, Devils in the East, Kings and Oilers in the West. 
We'll talk about both of those games coming up next. Super 16 is presented by New Amsterdam Vodka. New Amsterdam Vodka believes that in life, you've got to find your wins. And when you do, celebrate them. Raise that glass of New Amsterdam Vodka in victory. You earned it. New Amsterdam Vodka, official vodka of the NHL. 